fucking crazy. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, it is the long awaited finally coming to you guys the installation of the air tank the air compressor connecting all the lines the wiring the hosing basically getting the voloster fully bagged so that's going to be super sick i'm actually going to head out to see my homie albert right now um he's a pretty cool guy he works on cars and like um he was he's known for his 240 his s13 and he just recently got I think it was like a C, CVR, CVS, something like that, but super cool, super cool guy. He knows all about like electronics and electrical and just all the stuff that I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to head out right now. I'm going to meet him up and then we're going to get everything connected. Hopefully by the end of today, we are fully bagged guys. So stay tuned for that. What is up you guys? So I'm here with the homie Albert. Right back what here, up, what up, what up. <laughs> and we got the Veloster, the Veloster jacked up, and we're just looking through the diagram, see the best way to route the airlines, and we should get started from there. Okay, so for these pressure switches, I thought that you had to connect them into the tank. You actually have to connect it through here, and um, it actually connects to the gauge. That way you can get a digital reading of how much PSI you have in your bags. Alright, so here's the airline which we're running, sorry about that, we're, which we're running underneath these plastic panels through the back and I actually didn't know this, you connect the airline itself to the pressure switch which is pretty cool, did not know that. So what we did was we went ahead and drilled like little holes in here that way I'll show you oh that way we could run our airlines right all along there connect to the bag and same with that side airlines connect to the bag so I just have to finish zip tying that up but that's pretty cool that's how it is so far All right, you guys, so I just finished wiring up the front bags together. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how I did that. So this is the passenger side. As you see, I have the airline going right there, zip tied it to the brake line, and then it actually goes up into this area. Uh, before I continue, what I did is I actually removed the uh, fender liners. So. To make it easier, I went into this area, and let me show you from the top. I zip tied it to this hose right here, and zip tied it to that clamp, as you can see. Um, 
Let me show you the bottom view as well. Okay, so from here, I zip tied it to that clamp and to this hose right here. And from there, I fed it through this little area. As you see here. Okay, so it comes out from here, zip tied it up there as well, and goes into this airline. That way, the fronts are connected. And now, this bottom piece that you see sticking out, I'm gonna actually have to connect that into the inside of the cabin for the gauge. So, I'm gonna have to figure how to do that, but I just wanted to show you how I routed these two fronts to connect them together. The next day. What is up, you guys? Welcome back. It is the next day. Uh, it was getting pretty late, so I wasn't able to finish the air ride install. But um, I'm actually going to head over to Albert's today, later on around 5. So that gives me some time to kind of show you guys what we did. It was my first time ever, like, trying to record working on my car with someone else. And I didn't want to be, like, making him uncomfortable with the camera all up in his face. So you couldn't really see what we did. And I apologize for that. But let me show you guys. So, basically... What we did was we finished connecting all of the airlines together from underneath the car. Um, we actually have the power and all of the airlines, the ground, everything running in between the door panel. I have it tucked under here, as you can see, kind of just like poking out up at the top. Running through the back. In the back, we drilled some holes on the bottom. That way, we can go ahead and lift everything, like put it into the car. All right. And then we did go ahead and install the up down switches right here. And I think that's pretty sick. I might actually wrap this later on. That way, it just it doesn't look ugly, it looks cleaner. And we have the fuses here. I actually went to go buy uh add a fuse that way we can go ahead and add the fuses where we need them i also got some fittings for um the tank so that's pretty fun and then uh they we drilled some holes into the car ran the power through here as you see this is your main fuse we do not have the power connected yet, however, just because we're waiting to mount the actual compressor in the tank. And then we will connect the power. But, so far that is pretty much it for what we did. Right now, um, I didn't realize that the wooden floor I did was a little uneven. So I'm going to fix those lines up and then get this mounted up in the back. And after that, we're going to go see Albert so he can do all the electrical stuff. So, I actually found my old uh, DC sports intake that I had on my Nissan Versa. I'm wondering... Just for shits and giggles. What if I just throw this on here right now? Not even connect the whole thing. 
literally just take off the first part of the filter and then add the cone. Let's see how it sounds. Let's try it out. Okay, so keep in mind that it is raining right now, like sprinkling a little, so you might hear the little droplets. But also, I do not currently have a muffler on this car, completely just removed it. So it's going to be a little bit loud, but let's see how it sounds with the regular filter versus the cone filter. Alright, now let's get this bad boy on there. Okay, you guys, so we went ahead and got that air filter in, the air cone. Um, again, this is not to be taken seriously. This is just me messing around, just trying parts out, you know. But if you do want to install a air intake of any sort, I suggest you get a full system. Either, either a cold air or a short ram, but don't do this. So, I'm just doing this to see how it sounds. But, there you go. We got the air cone installed. Removing this one, it was just um, three 10 millimeter bolts. One down here, one over here, and then one back there. Along with a regular screw with the, that I just removed with the regular screwdriver. And then you just have to like pull it out from this little coupling right here. So, let's start it up, see how it sounds. Again, ignore the rain droplets, but here we go. <laughs> that actually sounded pretty cool. I was getting like some turbo noises and this is a non-turbo. But my issue is, I don't know if I'm going to get an air leak off of this or like um, a code reading. But I'm going to just leave it like this for today and then we'll change it out tomorrow or next time I have time to work on my car. I just want to drive it around a bit and see how it sounds like that. But now that this is out of the way, let's get back into the video all right so as you see here i have everything removed and that is the power cable those are the air lines now what i have to do is cut a hole into this middle part just because i am planning on keeping this it gives more support for the back especially with the wooden floors that way they don't bend but <clears throat> There is your power, which you're going to connect to the relay, and we're planning on putting the relay right here, which is why I need to cut that hole out. This is the uh, one of the pressure switches that you have connected to the airlines and running through the front. The other pressure switch is actually in the front underneath the uh, fuse box. So, um, let's do this thing. Okay, so not the cleanest cut, but it's going to be underneath the car, so it doesn't really matter. I couldn't find the knife, so I was using this super long screwdriver, just like poke little holes and then eventually punch it out. But, it's going to be sitting like this, with the hole in the middle. Then you have your relay right here, connected to ground, connected to power. And you have your little pressure switch also right there. And for these lines here, that way they don't get like all bundled up, I can actually even fit them through the middle so everything's just coming out from one spot. Oh no, it officially started raining. <laughs> Let's finish this up. Alright you guys, so I basically have everything mounted down. I just, 
I'm having trouble lining this piece up for whatever reason it doesn't want to stick um, like together but I'll just have Albert help me out with that because either way we're gonna have to remove all of this to get to the bottom to set up the relay and everything so now that this is squared away um, now we just wait until we're with Albert so he can help us do the rest later that same evening you already know what's up. Pulled up to the homies Alberts right now. Check this beauty out. Sheesh. God damn. That's sick. And then my little tiny baby right there. you connect these uh okay it's gonna be this line there's that the one that doesn't not connect it to anything yet uh-huh we'll connect it today but you i mean when you get the teeth fitting yeah just chop it anywhere you think it's like lengthable like you can put it right here chop it and then you connect it to both teeth fittings mm -hmm. and then you screw this one in with the and then you just put the freaking things on installing the air fitting I kind of tightened it a bit too tight and it snapped so this side is leaking but I did order an air fitting and it should be here within seven days so once that's in then uh, we should be completely bagged yeah, check it out and it releases the car in the back look <laughs> yeah look it's lowering it <laughs> but it, it shouldn't work because he's, he's uh he's missing a piece. Oh, the front one he strips apart, but it's working. Crazy. What's up? 
Christ. Oh, goddamn. And the next day. 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 What is up you guys? Yet another rainy day here in California, but today we are finally, finally finishing off the airbag install. Um, when I originally got the kit, I was missing this little piece right here, which connects to the pressure switch. And AirTech actually did not send it over. It was not included in my kit. So I had to message them and they shipped it out to me. I did have to buy it, however, which kind of sucked, but um, we got that, and this is my main fuse that we had popped. So, I went to Pet Boys, picked up another fuse, uh, like a main fuse holder with some fuses. So, once we get this squared away, and, oh, not this one, and this squared away, we should be good and have the airbags completely up and running by today so um i'm sorry for the wait i know it's been like kind of a while but we're finally getting everything squared away today so right now um i'm just waiting that's my homie albert's car and then someone else is working on their car once they finish i'm gonna move up to my spot and then we'll finish it from there all right so basically what we need to do is this is the line I have running directly to the tank and we're gonna chop it right here cut it off a little bit put it through the air fitting and then actually bolt this down onto here uh, I have the cap on but it's like a like a little screw on for this and what that actually does is it uh, tells the tank how much air it has inside so we can get the compressor and everything working right now but without this little part installed onto the pressure switch it'll just keep pr pr putting air into the tank and it won't tell it when to stop which is pretty dangerous because inevitably we can inevitably it could explode so we're gonna get this part connected re redo the fuse for the front and the one fitting for the front tire and we should be done <laughs> bro that's sick <laughs> what is up you guys so we finally did it we got the airbags completely working aired up aired down we did find one air leak but we fixed it uh, we just chopped the airline a little bit and then go ahead and reconnected it before the where the air leak was uh, we had enough play to do it so we got that done we got that squared away I'm super excited um, I'm gonna definitely be getting some videos or pictures of airing up and airing down because that's gonna be super cool and I'm actually on my way home right now uh, ah, hold on. I'm on my way home right now but thank you guys for being so patient with me thank you for everyone that reached out telling me that they couldn't wait for the installs to be done and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Fuck you, Mother Nature! <laughs> Goddamn! Why don't you look low rider status? <laughs>